Well, thanks, Anna. Um, well, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. Uh, I am joined tonight by the usual crew, Christian and Anna. Good evening. And uh, it looks like that Anna managed to take her figure out of the package and everything. I did, both of them. So we're not going to have a live cut the tape uh, with Anna, so... I thought about doing it, but then someone had posted about Bumblebee's transformation being more finicky, so I got worried. And then it didn't finick me at all, so... I don't know who posted uh, that they were wrong. We I don't talk remember. about that. No, the I mean, I, I agree um, that it... You, there's a part you have to be, like, just a little bit careful, I guess, but it's really not that big of a thing. And I haven't turned him back, either. I haven't only turned him in a car. Yeah, when you go back, it's, uh, it like, the, the hood part is, it, I don't know. You can do it live on air, and you can see what he's talking about. So, yeah, tonight we are doing the RC mold again. Yet, a, yet another repaint remold. Let's just, just get these it's things the knocked out. the last one we know about, though. There That's may true. not be any more. It's probably not true, but... Yeah. It's kind yeah. of funny, yeah. because some people really, really hate this mold. So for those people, we've, like, betrayed them for, like, three weeks in a row. Because yeah. we just keep talking about this mold over and over and over. If we My... betrayed you, we're totally not sorry. My my only complaint in general about this is is that uh, the legs on mine, like my RC has been fine, but the the legs on the other two on the exclusive have been like a little bit loose. Like Alita is not as bad as um, is not as bad, but like her one of the legs is kind of loose. So like the other one's fine, and then this one's kind of loose, which kind of sucks. Like when you actually have the back like a massive backpack. Um, like she does or whatever to go hiking, uh, you want to have strong legs to uh, to carry it. So my Alita's legs are very tight. Um, oh, one of them had some extra paint or mold flash on this side, so it, it mushroomed off as soon as I uh, you know tried to rotate it to transform it. But I you know cleaned that up and it's all fine now. Yeah, mine has some ugly paint apps on the legs, for sure. Like, it's not perfect, because the leg is red underneath the white, and if anyone yeah. here paints, you know that that can, be, that can be a struggle when you have a nice, deep color and you're trying to put white over it. So there's definitely some show-through. There's some places where the paint is scraped a little bit um, right out of the box. I haven't really messed with it very much. But it's not bad, you know. From a distance, it doesn't look bad. Up close, it doesn't look bad. It's just kind of a, like if you're being really super picky, you might like go through like five different ones in the box and Mine thumb your nose. Fine. Mine's fine, just extra thick, which is what caused the, the issue I mentioned. Yeah. yeah. No, I noticed that mine has it on the back too. I haven't actually put mine in car mode yet, so it hasn't ran into me or I haven't ran into it. <laughs> we haven't run into each other. Yeah, so I may have to uh, switch this one out for another one, like if I find it in store, just because it annoys me to have a leg this loose, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. It's that extra one at my house right now. Um, so, oh, yeah, I forgot, I forgot about that. She's cool, right? though. She's got a cool new head. The head Which, looks, yeah. yeah. Looks really good. So I think this is the best Alita one head we've ever had, like yep. by miles. Of the two, two, three. Yeah. Three. Like this is just really, really nice looking. Like it may not be your like perfect G one Alita one look, but it is a really good head, a really good face. Mine has kind of a strange spot that's probably not going to show up on camera on the left side of her face. She has like a spot where it looks like the paint kind of bubbled. And that caused it to look like there's like a little hole. It kind of looks like a blemish on the upper side of her cheek, which stands out, but it doesn't look bad, right? It just adds to the weird thing about this figure that because of the tone of this tan color they used on her legs, arms, and face, especially on the face, she really has the human skin tone. Like, yeah. this is within the realm of possibilities of human skin tone. It honestly it's, looks a lot like my makeup bottle. It's pretty bizarre, but it kind of works with the uh, 
the kind of sienna you red that it has. I don't know, it's kind of like dusty colored. It looks red. good together. Yeah, so it makes sense that this is here, but you're right, it does kind of look somewhere in the realm of human skin. Yeah, it's kind I'm of uncanny here. valley, which I'm into. I like I that. Don't know. I don't know, like, I actually kind of dig the color. Um, I like it, too. When, it's just when it was, like, online, um, you know, when there's pictures online, all these people have been hating on this the the, col- the tan color. But, I, I mean, I think it looks fine. I don't have any issues with it at all. What I think is interesting about these colors is that, you know, they are faithful enough to the Netflix show. They are more of a reinterpretation of what she has in G1. Because in G1, she's, like... Mm-hmm couple different colors of pink and purple kind of darker than rc but you know pink and purple and a little bit of red so this is for this is like the older kind of classics or universe interpretation of characters rather than the recent this is g1 now look we've been getting in more for cybertron it's kind of refreshing yeah i don't know and, and i think like we'll probably really like her like i i liked her characterization uh on the show and I'm sure the, like the yeah. new one that's dropping too. Like I think it's 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 really nice. So like so I'm I'm happy to have a nice representation of her. Like I hated that Power of the Primes mold. You know, it's bad. Yeah. Sorry. I don't think I have that in hands reach right now. I did just till like two days ago. I finally put it away. I but it. yeah, I think I did too. It's big. It's bad looking. It's bad looking in every mode. It doesn't it's need bulbous. to be. In, it is. Awful. Yeah, like, I kind of appreciate the whole, like, because she has the really big lower legs and the really big lower arms, so it kind of gives her, like, a Mega Man aesthetic, and I kind of appreciate that a little bit as a fan of Mega Man, but then I look at her and I'm like, it still looks bad. I have Mega Man toys that look good. They don't have to look bad. So, you guys know that I've been feeling a lot recently that <laughs> Earthrise stuff, or see, some in, case, in some cases Siege stuff, is, like, the last version of a character I'll ever buy. And this one, I don't know that it will be, yeah. but if it was just because they don't make Alita very often, I'd be okay. Like, if they really wanted to make one that was straight up from the cartoon, the G1 cartoon, I'd probably go for that. But this is very nice. I like it a ton. And it might still stay even if that one came along. Yeah, I would definitely take a bigger, more like, you know, bigger vehicle, more meaty looking Alita one that isn't yep. ugly like the bulbous Starscream repaint. Yep. But I, I definitely really like this one. This one is really good. And, you know, it has a decent amount of remolding. Oh, I have to take my paratron away from her cat. See, she's she's so happy to have a pet kitty right now. But, oh, isn't it cute? But um, she actually has a decent amount of retooling on the figure that actually kind of surprised me because I don't pay a ton of attention. Like I don't really super carefully look at figures before I order them. Perhaps I should. Um, but you know, the chest is different for sure. Like this is actually the arms are different. humanoid chest. Like if you wanted to say that she had a humanoid feminine physique on RC and lifeline, this one has a more human like physique cause it's actually rounded. So you know, that's kind of interesting. And in a, like, positive way, the um, the waist is also um, completely remolded. Like, it's very much the same idea. It comes out very similar, but it's a whole new piece. So that's kind of cool. And, yeah, the arms are a little bit different. It's interesting, you know, the spots where they're really different and the spots where they're just a little bit different. But on the shoulders, uh, shoulders. they're an entirely different piece. I think we need to talk about shoulders, right? Because there's like a variant, and one of them is bad, and one of them is good. I don't remember yeah. which. People are saying some of their shoulders are assembled backwards, which is kind I of think poopy. Th- I have the big side of the pins out. Is that correct or not correct? Yeah, that's that's correct. Okay. Quote unquote correct. I is it? I can't remember because for some reason no, I thought. Because no, I think it's the I other way. Side. Yeah, so they're different. Yeah, so if you if, move your arms up, because, like, I notice on this, mine are the same way, and, like, I can't really move the arms, like, up at all. Yeah, mine go all can, the way. They can do no, that. no, no, I mean, I can move it up like that, but what I'm saying is, is, like, how far out, like, if you move them to the side. She can't T-pose, but she goes up pretty high. Like, yeah. out like that? 
Yeah. yeah. Like mine. Okay. Mine yeah. Is so way yours farther. go. Yours go. Further. Yours okay. go further up. So there you go. So yeah. So ours. So this definitely will be going back. So Anna, can you check the? Can you yeah, check, check the, the one that one. I I got you or whatever and see. <laughs> and I'll I'll switch that out and then I'll take that one from you and then return the other. Yeah, I'll see if it's any better. I don't know that I will work too hard to switch this out. If it wasn't for the leg, I don't know if I'd really care that much. But it I think I'd do it the Lucas me. way, where like trying to exchange it, not trying to do it yourself, because it sounds very hard. Well, I have a whole. Are saying. I have a whole pile of extra uh, right. figures or whatever, because like I ordered them online and then. I have gotten them in store, and then it's a like the, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but just yeah. while I was going through the parts that are different, I think it's really good that you guys covered those arms because I wasn't thinking about that at all. Because mine has the correct arms, which is great, good for me. Um, one more part that's different is the front half of the car. Here is actually it's minutely different, right? There's not a whole lot that's different there. Where the hell did medic go? There she is. So I don't know if you can quite see on my screen. It's my lighting is dim today for some reason. Um, but she doesn't you have like, back. You're, you're, yeah, go you're too back. close. There you go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> she doesn't have like the ridges on the two parts on the side. Where Lita does have the ridges on the two parts on the side. You can touch them with your finger and fill the ridges. Oh yeah. So it's a minor difference, but you know it is. It is a difference, right? Oh, like yeah. you're not. It makes me happier when I'm not getting the same toy twice. So if you're like me, which no one is, um, you can feel a little bit better about buying both of these two. Or, you know. I mean, I don't know. Like, I think it's cool when they do it on, like, a different figure. Like, it annoys me that I got two different Megatrons and, and two different, you know, Dotsons and all that kind of thing. And they're all slightly different, but they're not really, you know, kind of thing. Uh, but it's kind of nice, like, it's, like, almost differentiates the character in order to, like, have, you know, like, ridges and things like that, like, on the figure. So, I don't know. I think it's neat. I think it makes more sense than the classic, like, approach of, you know, um, Thundercracker and Skywarp had the exact same body down to every finest detail. I think it actually makes more sense to think, like, even if, as a race, they had like one body type that multiple people would wear, you would have little customs, you know, you would have little bits of it to make it unique because they obviously have a sense of identity. So I think it is much better when they put those little details in. But yeah, there's just more ridges, more details. The Autobot symbol is a heck of a lot bigger on Alita. Little Autobot, big Autobot, red Autobot, white Autobot. But, you know, those are... Difference in terms of a seeker, that actually is pretty nice i would like that yeah just like a little bit of personality it doesn't have to be crazy and then the the other car part i think is identical looking at those just not really inspecting this thing yeah Still, the back be of careful <laughs> just dropping your ailerons don't don't drop them yeah, yeah that's another thing is that you'll notice that you know on like rc this is so it's between the two, right? It's not frosted like RC. It's not completely clear like Medic. It is clear but bluish. Yeah, so, I, I actually like that. Kind of a floor. I, I like the bluish color. Like, I think it's kind of cool. Um, I don't know. I would have liked it on um, Lifeline if they would have done that. And so, like a green or just something like that, you know what I mean? Like, rather than just straight clear. Um, like, I think it's a nice... I don't know. It, it looks nice and it's cool with the gun or whatever that it's a little bit blue as well. Yeah, because I have no idea where my lifeline's gun is and that may be the end of that gun because it's so clear that it may just be gone forever. Who knows? Yeah. We'll find out later, right after the show. I'll search around. Because I was thinking it would be cool if Alita dual welded because she's a warrior and lifeline isn't. She's a medic, so she can have two guns and pew pew. It's cool. And then maybe have zero guns by the time I put it on the shelf. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. So they do have enough differences that I think they're definitely worth owning both if you want them. And, like, I'm just going to say it. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say these are so much better than the last female Autobot mold that we had. Like, that Moon Racer yeah. and Friends mold. Just, 
it was fine for one figure. It was not fine for 57 figures. This, if this, if there's six of these and they have like Alita level differences, I wouldn't mind owning them all because it's a good action figure. You know, like it, it's fun to play with as it is. So I'm not going to keep playing. Well, and even considering that pretty much the entire car mode is, like, on her back, it right. doesn't feel that bad. Like, I feel like that the backpack feels more pronounced on, like, the Moon Racer mold than it does on this one. I and so, like, I I don't know. Like, I actually think they did a pretty decent job with it. Um, and, I, you know, like, uh, the, the transformation's stupid, but whatever. Like, I, I still, I, I don't know. Like, I, I actually like this, and I think that this is probably, and Randall, I think, has mentioned that th this is the best version of this mold, I think. For um, sure. So. Yep. There's a bit of a gap. Like, but then again, you know, this design is just simply cooler looking than the classic G1 RC look. So. No. I think that's why it's a better toy. But that's okay. Because they're both cool. Like, I like having both of them, or all three of them, I suppose, as I do right now. Maybe not later. Yeah, so we're happy with her. Um, she is one of the Netflix exclusive Walmart figures, so your success in finding her may vary. Um, now, if you, ordered their, if you ordered it from Walmart and you managed to keep your pre-order, I think they've shipped most of them at this point. I think. I got mine shipped to me. I feel like the only one that's really. Three times. I feel like the only one that's really been trouble has been, um, well, Soundwave, but uh, Bumblebee of the deluxes. <laughs> I think has been like the one that's kind of tough. Like the one that I had ordered online keeps getting like delayed, and you know I had gotten it canceled before and and whatever. So um, I, I think that he's probably the hottest one. Um, Alita's probably second, but it still seems like they are able to get it. I think it's really interesting that they chose, for the sake of the show, like, Alita, I'd say, you know, in order of importance to the show, it would pretty much go, like, Optimus, Alita, Bumblebee, Jetfire, you know, in order to right. be the, like, most impactful characters on the cartoon. Two out of four of the most supporting characters are Walmart exclusives only. Right, like you can't get right now. You can't get B or Alita otherwise, which is really a weird marketing move to me. I guess it's a licensing deal more than anything else. Yeah, Paul yeah. is saying that all of his canceled Walmart toys ended up showing up after being canceled. So that's pretty much been the mo. That uh, like I, I had the same thing happen to me. That I that's part of the reason I have extra figures to return is because. I had figures that I thought were canceled, and turns out they're not. Like, they just, you know, went ahead and sent them, so. This is a canceled order. This is my third Alita that I ordered. Two of them were canceled. The third one was canceled, and then she came. Yeah. After I had already had Lucas pick me up once. So it's like, uh. But, anywho. <laughs> we all three like her, it sounds like. Quite a bit. We all yeah. three sound happy for once. She is great. A yeah, symphony of happiness. And I, I think it's crazy just in general. Like, we've got B and Soundwave and Alita. And it's like, I mean, definitely two, if not three, of the, like, most in, like anticipated figures of Earthrise, I feel like, are these Walmart exclusives. Like, it just seems crazy to me yeah. that they, like, retooled all of these fi Like, all three of the figures are retooled and they're exclusives. Like, and I don't think that they're being used for other molds like which is it just seems weird to do it like that because normally you've got yeah she might be my favorite earthrise character i'm not really sure i'll have to think about that a little bit i, I think hard, it's though. funny christian that both you and i are uh displaying b with his uh rifle gun. yeah the, the gun yeah. from the uh centurion drone pack so well yeah who wants nice. another one of that damn cannon out on their figure it's painted well, at even, least. He can't even hold it in a vehicle mode, though. Right. Oh, he can. You have to pop open his back part and, like, turn him into this launcher mode that looks idiotic. I mean, beautiful. <laughs> so I, I'm going to start with the B talking and just say, like, this vehicle mode is ridiculous. 
Like, we usually do not get fades that look this much like real cars. It's licensed, I think, right? It has to be. It has to be. It doesn't, I just a straight it, beetle. it does not have the Volkswagen logo on the back or the front, as far as I can tell. Did you huh. look at the box and see if it's got license? Uh, there... I think the Volkswagen logo is on the hood there. Oh, it's on the hood? It's, yep. it's a VW. I don't know if that's the official Volkswagen logo, but it's a little V and a big W. Oh, yep, it is. You're right. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, so he's probably licensed. Or and see, that's a crazy yeah. thing, too. It's an exclusive and it's licensed. Like, that's just, that's wild. I just, like, I don't think this is less accurate to a car than either of the MPBs. No. Like, this is a really good car mode. It's just no, this is, crazy. This is the MP version 1 again. It's exactly, it's yeah. exactly that car mode. It looks just like it. Like, maybe the robot mode is less MP than the MP is, but so, the car mode so is So I was, I was going to talk about that, because I, you know, I've got my G2 Masterpiece to compare, uh, you know, with them as well. And, I mean, I think that outside of, like, I mean, it's pretty much the Master... It's the MP, and you could argue, I mean, like, this MP... Uh, like version has the hollow forearms that Anna hates and like this doesn't really. So, I mean, I guess it does just a little bit, but I mean, it's, no, it has a nice rotating rest. That, down it's, it's cool. That's the thing that's, I think it's funny is, is that the original MP in a, like this doesn't have rotating wrists. Nope. And I, I, I don't know. And like it has, it has that transformation. It's so wild that we have, um, and obviously there's parts forming involved with this. Um, right. But, but yeah, I mean. the nail in the coffin for some people. Some people can't get past the parts forming, like it offends them or something. I don't know. I'm not one of those people. I don't care. The parts forming has actually been fun because I've got an entirely new concepts in transformations and molds, so I'm cool with it. But um, this is just so cool. Like, I actually like Beatles as cars, so... Yeah. I'm not really a car person, but I think Beatles are cute. So this one is pretty cool. Oh, Randall mentioned that he likes the color of the cannon better, and I actually agree with that as well. Mm -hmm. Like it has it's kind of more of a gunmetal color um, than the Cliff Jumper one, and so I that. actually think it's better. Yeah, I didn't even mess. With, I didn't even put mine together or look at it really. I just kind of put it on the desk and said, yeah. "This is that moment weapon." It moved off my life. Yep, because all of us have the uh, Centurion gun. <coughs> we do. So. Yeah, and it's good. It's properly sized. It, it looks, again, like the MP, but it also looks like it's supposed to look, and it looks awesome. Pew. Yep. And it fits better uh, in the car mode, too. You can actually, there's like a spot you can put it underneath the car, too. No way. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. Like, can you do it, Anna? Uh, so there's no. Mine is my gun's still in the box, like oh, way over there. Okay, but yeah, no. There's a, there's a spot you can fit it. There is a spot. It's like yeah. in the middle. Yeah. People showed it online. I was gonna say, I guess I could transform them. So he yeah. seems to be designed for it. It's really cool. Um, I will <laughs> say, you know, one thing about him is this thing is just covered in paint. So, you know, you're probably going to scratch up the paint playing with it, but oh well. <laughs> it happens. Yeah, it is really nicely painted. I am, I'm yeah. pretty impressed. And I'm sure that has to do with the licensing agreement. Like, if Volkswagen's going to let them do it, it can't look like crap. Which is why he's got, he's got painted rims, he's got painted headlights, he's got painted taillights, which is unusual. He's got painted bumpers, or at least they're Molded in a different color. Randall, if you want yeah. to share that um that uh, picture that you took on the um, TFLP Facebook page as well, so people can see it, that would be super cool of you. Since you shared it on the Discord, we appreciate it. I mean, even like it has door handles, you know, like. Yeah, the thing is detailed. Oh, this is crazy. It, it, it's yeah. it really is a generations version of that original masterpiece. 
but it's kind of better in every way except for parts for me. Yeah. Whatever. I mean, who cares? Yeah, no, it's great. I'm I'm super happy with this thing. Like, I'm super happy with this thing except for the one part I don't like as much, but, you know, whatever. What's the we'll one get part there, you don't like? Oh, okay. The face. I like the face, too. It's accurate to the show face. It's fine. What's I just like the my face? Happy, I like my happy goofy bees. Oh, because it's not it's not goofy enough? Sorry that For it's me, not goofy. He was always the, like, happy, goofy character. He was always smiling and gooning around with teenagers. He was very serious in the cartoon. He was a super stern, yeah. serious... <laughs> he was kind of a jerk. Right, right. He was a very different version of Bumblebee, and this is his face, right? Like, this is the face for that guy. So, you know, if they're trying to sell us on a different kind of Bumblebee, that's who this guy can be. Who he can Bumblebee. <laughs> no, no, I like that one. You're welcome. <laughs> I try hard. But yeah, um, I know earlier that they mentioned, like, the one issue with the transformation is, um, so with the, all the paint and whatnot, um, the clearance for the front of the uh, car is just a little bit tight. And so, like, when you're transforming, like, this, this piece right here, like, it can be kind of, I mean, it's not bad, you know, but, like, it's a little bit tight to get in and out. So, and then there's paint there and whatever, so you kind of worry about scraping it. So, um, I mean, I would say that that's like a small complaint. I, you know, it it's fine. But, but like when you're transforming it into that one part, it's like a little bit tight. Where does it go? It's just in the middle. What do you mean just in the middle? There's no you place see to how it's got that yeah, like in the right middle there. of his waist? Yeah. It just goes right right there in the middle part. You just put it there. No, no, no. Like sideways. No, not... Like, further back. There's a part in the cavity where you can see it kind of clips in. Yeah, like right... Like right where his arms are. Like right... Right past his arms. It'll... If you put it in there, it'll fit. Yeah. There we go. That actually did fit reasonably well. Yeah. It's supposed to be like you... an exhaust or something? Sure. 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 Okay. I mean, it doesn't roll it anymore, fits. That's all I'm it saying. Fits. You can it, store you the can... gun, which is rare and nice. You can't, you can't roll, but uh, yeah, you can store yeah. it. But you can store it. It's a thing you can do. It, unless you want him to roll like a car. Well, you know. It does actually kind of clip in there pretty well. I don't know what that's about. That's odd. See, and I'm surprised you're not displaying your guy like this. Okay, so I put animal heads and monster heads on my toys. I don't cover their heads. It's a car hood head. It fits the theme. It's a monster. Uh. Right? It's the car hood monster. It's like a go-bot. Um, so, you know, like I said about the head, like, this is, it's not a bad face at all. Like, there's nothing wrong with it. It just looks like he does in the cartoon, which isn't you know, not my bumblebee type of thing. But that's fine. Who cares? Like, he's a version. He's the new version. The current version. I think the other thing is, is I would like to have an Autobot symbol on his chest. Like, I oh, kind of wish that they would have put it on his, on his roof. And so, I mean, it's the same thing with uh, Cliff Jumper too. But, like, the chest is even bigger on Bumblebee. And so, I think I may have to break down and put one on there. But Yeah, I probably will too. I wanted to mention that if you're one of those people, this yellow molded plastic and this yellow painted plastic, they're not quite the same. It's a little bit off. They're pretty close. They're really close, but they're a I little mean, bit closer, off. I mean, it's closer than Sunstreaker. It's closer than Sunstreaker. Although Sunstreaker doesn't look as bad in person. You're right really about that. It looks really bad. It looks horrible pictures. online. Like, it looks on horrible pictures. online. But right. it, in person, it's a lot better. Right. No, I agree with that. But this is closer. Like This is closer than even that. Yeah. You know, it's funny. When I took that picture earlier of the Alita still, or the Alita out of her box and the Bumblebee in his box, I kind of realized just how um, 
how small Alita is, like how small this RC mold is, like because it's tall enough. I haven't really been thinking about its size, but standing next to what we've like all kind of had to go through this mourning period of are we okay with the deluxe being the small and all three of us are. Um, it's funny because he feels bigger than her in some ways. Like they're not like he's he's shorter, yeah. and I think he's probably technically less plastic if you include the shield slash stand thingy, but. He just feels like a bigger person. It's kind of fun in that way. I guess if we wanted to, I could do a quick weight comparison. You could. I don't know. I mean, I I just feel like for the money that we're never going to get a better Bumblebee than this personally. Like for me, like, you know, we've gotten a million Bumblebees out there. Um, but I just think with like the articulation, the level of detail, the paint, like all that kind of thing that it's it's tough to to top this for me for 20 bucks you're essentially getting the masterpiece version elita is 0. 0.2 ounces heavier than bumblebee without I don't or have, with without, her i don't have okay. a cannon so B. yeah so you, you have gotta put the, the cannon on there and the did you put the backpack on there yes okay put, put the cannon so, on there i better be equal. i don't have it with me oh uh, okay like we said, Lucas, that cannon is meaningless. <laughs> but he does have the the uh, gun from the pack, the weapons pack. Yeah. And okay. and Anna, does does he uh, does this version have more waist rotation than the ma- the new masterpiece version? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. No, it does. <laughs> The new Masterpiece version I really soured on. Like, after owning it for a while, it was just like, you know what? Like, it tried. It tried to be, like, a photo finish, like, one or two poses. But, man, that thing was just a miss. I think I think that's the one I'm going to let go out of these is just goodbye to that. So, I think we're all saying go get both of these. Yeah, for 100%. sure. To Lucas's point earlier, I mean, this is Bumblebee. Alita, but Bumblebee, I really feel like will get released another time if you really can't find him. He's two per case. You should have some luck at some point once they really hit saturation. Mm-hmm. But it's Bumblebee. I feel like they have to release it somewhere else. Right? I feel like it too. I feel like we'll get a different version, like something. It just seems Maybe. wild to me that sound um, Soundwave is the same way, where it's like, how... Like, like, there's no way that you release a version that good in... He's, he, he's not in the General Kingdom releases, but right. I wouldn't be surprised if he showed up in, like, next year's version of the Galactic Odyssey stuff. Yeah. Well, I mean, it would make sense or whatever. Like, I'm sure Walmart doesn't want people to, you know, be like, oh, yeah, it's coming out in Kingdom, right? But, like, it makes so much more sense if for those guys to come out in Kingdom than it does for, like, RC to come back out again. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. It just it's, seems weird. Yeah. yeah. Re- re- repacks of RC and Wheeljack. Wheeljack also has a Netflix figure out right now. Yeah. And he's getting repacked. The, norm- the normal Wheeljack's getting repacked. It's odd. What if we just get a version of him that was, like, true yellow instead of this goldish yellow that Bumblebee toys usually are? That could be funny. Yeah, it, it might be that violent yellow and the uh, goofy face. I could see that happening. Ooh, I'd be all over that. <laughs> Throw this thing out the window. Give me the goofy face. I'd probably keep this one over that one. That's just me. But, you know, personal preference. I feel like it will come out again. Typically yeah. because it's licensing they had to pay for. Unless yeah. it's still part of the original Volkswagen deal they made to make um, the first Masterpiece Bumblebee. I don't know. I don't know. I'm speculating. But uh, Alita probably will come out another time. I wouldn't be super surprised to see this version of the mold in her G1 cartoon colors, that could be a thing that would happen. Not sure. It's just, it's odd that such prominent characters would be exclusives. Paul thinks he has something he wants to share with us. Okay, Paul, share uh, it. Apparently, here, hold on. He says he wants in. Tell him no. This isn't the it's way the closed, show works. This is, is Microcasters. Club. Hey, wow. Microcasters you, doesn't allow invaders. Hold on. You're How you guys you doing? Lie. You can't hold on anymore. Yeah, I was. I had the sound on the video and it was going crazy. But I gotta let you guys know about something. Tomorrow, 
Tomorrow we're having the Christmas episode of Oof My Wallet. <laughs> and even Christmasy behind you. Even better, Rick thought it was tonight. And he messaged me all frantically, like, hey, That's why I got the do- Skype call earlier. I thought so. Yeah, he's like, are we doing this? Are we doing this at 9.30? And so I think he was all dressed up in his Grinch outfit and everything. But he had the wrong date day, wrong. dude. So I, I just had to let you know. I thought it was really important that, the, that all the fans knew that he messed up so bad. So is Rick going to actually make it on the real night, or do we have to, like, tune in to find out? I tune mean... Tune in to find out. You definitely have to tune in to find out. <laughs> Rick probably has to tune in to find out. <laughs> that Anyways, is yeah, true. we're all we're all set up here at the North Pole, and uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a party. So I could Christmas up my space for tomorrow. Get some extra lights laying around, and a Christmas dog. There you go. I mean, so while, while, while you're here, have you had a chance to check these figures out? Yeah, I thought your assertions on them were pretty good, except you got to make you can put uh, you can make Crazy B and plug his gun behind it <laughs> on the top. Oh, and there you go. The new version of Helipack. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's true. <laughs> I like it. Of course, I like it. Could you spin it around to where he has the cannon on his head? <laughs> maybe, pew, pew. maybe. I don't know. I was just trying to, well, you guys were talking about the cannon and how much it sucks. I was like, well, how can I get rid of it? And this was my solution. <laughs> was Bad stick solution. it on his back. No, I mean, the, the cannon, I, I, I still like that cannon. I think it's a cool play feature or whatnot. It just doesn't really fit on the B. Yeah, know? the cannon does not suck, per se. It's just, I'm tired of it. Get yeah. through it now. Well, I'm going to have more. You, you, give a, you can give it to Sunstreaker who doesn't really have a weapon. So there you go. Well, he's also got this billy club thing, you know. There you go. <laughs> so he can beat up dudes. That's the sound Bumblebee makes. Err. Err. I'm, I'm, I'm Bumblebee. Hey, Paul, when you go through your orders of Alita, you, you should let us know which, how many are assembled correctly and how many are assembled incorrectly. Oh, I would have to open them to know. No, just look at the shoulders. Can you not you see, can see at the them. shoulders? Uh, I might have missed that part. I I didn't. I don't know what's wrong. Are they so on the yet? shoulders, you can see on mine the small part of the pack is showing. On Christian's, the large part of the pack is showing. Because of this, mine has full rotation of the shoulder. It can go all the way up. His cannot. So it's actually kind of a bummer. Okay. I mean, I'll take a look. Would you like me to submit a a full report to the microcaster HQ? Like yes. a spread, yes. spreadsheet and everything. Yes, yes. And we'll, we'll update everyone on our next show. I do have a pretty large sample size to pull from, so I can um, I can let you know. Fantastic. We point. need rates. We need to establish a base rate. All right. I'll, correct. I'll arms. probably give you. I'll give you more than you're <laughs> bargaining for. And I'll run stats on it. It'll be fun. <laughs> It'll be super nerdy. All right. Thanks for letting me come in. I just wanted to. Spice yeah. things up a bit. That's yeah, yeah, it's so much right. spicier now. Thanks, Paul. We'll, we'll see you go, tomorrow night. I gotta go make some eggnog. All right. <laughs> there you go. So, um, yeah, I was gonna say at least part of his inventory uh, had it assembled wrong because I got mine from him. So, there you go. Ooh. Um, but uh. Yeah, it's a bummer, because I like when when you all were just like, oh, sometimes it's backwards, sometimes it's forwards. I was like, oh, well, who cares? It doesn't, I actually think it looks better the way it is on yours than it does the way on mine. Yeah. And then it was like, oh, but her arm can't move all the way up. And I was like, she's garbage. You have to tr- throw her in the trash and get a new one. This is terrible. You know, if I see one, like if I encounter one, I might <laughs> switch it, but... I don't care. I, I will. I will say, Anna, that I am happy that your version is the one that's that's right because yeah, you're I, the one who's I know use that. You, you're you're the one that would have been super annoyed if yours was backwards. I would have thrown her. I would have been like, "This is horrible." And, my whole yeah. room would have just fallen apart because it's very unstable. 
I don't use more than you know this range of articulation. Anyway. Oh, this one goes all the way up. Oh. She's going to articulate like mad because these toys actually move really well. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I really need more than this. I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, it's fine. Um, so I was going to mention TFLP last night. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Um, Anna and Christian were also on that one. Uh, and we talked about what we thought was awesome about Transformers. So it, uh, it actually led to some really fun stories and whatnot. So I would actually, it, it was a fun episode to do. I totally missed something. I, I was so mad at myself when I realized that I missed one of the things that amazed me most about Transformers. What's that? Yeah, Grumpy. That people can be diehard Decepticon fans and identify with the bad guy group. Most 80s cartoons, you can find the bad guys funny, but you don't identify with them, right? Because they were just, like, utterly stupid bad guys. But people actually, like, you know, say, I more identify Decepticon. Like, the entire book club, which is at 8.30 on Sunday nights, is everybody else is like, ooh, I identify Decepticon. I'm like, I identify Autobot, I guess. I mean, why wouldn't you? They're the good guys. But... It's, it's just interesting to me because most other franchises, you don't really hear. I've never heard anybody say, like, I identify Cobra instead of G.I. Joe. Like, that would just seem There's weird. There's probably some people, I'm sure. Are there? Like, Cobra's literally terrorists. Snake terrorists. That's the It's the premise of the show. Army guys versus snake terrorists. Right? <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, I, I do think even, you know, reading the comics uh, that you're reading, I, I do think it's easy to identify with oh, the well, Decepticon sure. cause. Yes. And I totally so. see it, like, at that level. I can totally see it. Once you get to the comics, but, like, coming from right. G1 cartoons, people already right. were like, you know, I read it for Starscream and Megatron and stuff, and it's like, why? They're just so bad, but... They were fun you know, characters. I, growing up, I always thought those people were just, like, trying to be edgy about it. But as I've gotten older, it's like, they actually do identify, and I don't know why, I can't interpret it, but they do. I identified with Chris Lotta's screechy voice, so that was that was a little bit of, like, my fandom, is I love Cover Commander and Starscream just because of his screechiness. One of my very best friends identifies as a Decepticon, and we have to, we've had to reconcile that. That's interesting! I don't understand it, but I accept him either way. Yeah. It sounds like the large pins might be more common. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm curious. I know there's another Elite at the Walmart uh, by me, so I may have to go check it out and see which ones that one is. So I may have the blessed luck here. That would be interesting. There you go. So And again, I'm the poser. Ha, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> so all right um so yeah thank you to uh thanks guys thanks to everyone in the chat uh Catherine and uh randall and then uh paul dropping in so announcing his and uh eric earlier as well so um but uh yeah paul is announcing uh oof my wallet next uh tomorrow night uh, special Christmas episode as we're getting all of our drops from various retailers and whatnot. So, super special awesome book club this week too, where Amy talked about the Siege cartoon instead of any sort of book because we need to recap before we watch the very epic Earthrise cartoon next week. Next week. Trying to be more excited about it than I really am. I am cautiously optimistic like i was last time we'll, yeah we'll see i'm sure I'm this me out so soon i'm sure this batch will probably be better you know i don't know i feel like the middle is probably going to be better we'll it's find so out catchy. i'm sure we'll have we'll, we'll save more. that for sunday yep all right well thanks guys and we will see you next week or are we going to do Not next even. week you won't see me next week i don't know what you two are doing yeah I, I, we might we may skip next week i don't know uh, we'll see. I don't know. We'll post if we do. So, all right. Bye. Bye, friends.